Today we're going to talk retro vintage lenses. <laughs> a Sunagore 135mm f2.8 lens. This is a steal for only 30 quid. Boom. This is built to last and I've managed to pick up one. A copy which is very, very good. This is a Japanese manufactured lens, I believe from the 70s perhaps 80s, I'm not too sure. There's not much info um, that I could find on the web about this particular lens. No, it's not 1.8 or a 1.4, but 2.8 is really, really good. It's not the fastest, but f2.8 is very, very handy. Um, coupled in with the fact that it's 135 mil focal length, you're really gonna get blown out, kind of really shallow depth of field and all that blurry goodness, which, um, a lot of us do enjoy and like. I mean, if you get an equivalent 135, 2.8 lens on the market now for a modern lens, it's a few hundred quid. This costs 30 pound off eBay. It's in fantastic condition. It looks brand new. It's solid. And that's what you find with these vintage lenses. They are solid. It's got a manual aperture ring. It's got two, in fact. It's got a hard click. So you can hear that. And it's also got a smooth um, ring two, which is great because if you're doing uh, a video, you're shooting and you want to adjust the aperture as you're shooting, you could do that and it'll be smooth. Now, this is a good lens for video. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this for photo because obviously it's not autofocus. Um, you could do some nice portraits if it was a like a a slow paced um, shoot. You didn't have to rush or worry. You know, you could use this quite easily, but if you're a paid portrait photographer or you're a wedding photographer or events, I, I wouldn't recommend using this lens. Um, you're probably not going to enjoy the um, the inability to nail focus quickly because obviously it's a manual lens. You're also not going to enjoy the softness of the lens too. Uh, wide open, it's quite soft and I know that's not gonna be great for you pixel peepers out there, but for video, it's, it's a really nice lens. It gives you a really nice film look, very contrasty, slightly soft, but that's absolutely fine. Um, a lot of us don't like the video image, and I think sometimes the lens can be too sharp. So this Sunogore is, or was, an M42 mount, but I've adapted it with this. So this is now an EF mount, which means it works with my Viltrox adapter for the GH2, and it also works my MC11 adapter for the Sony a7 III. Um, I've converted all my lenses to EF if they're not. So this is the Bell & Howell 28 mil, nice wide focal length. Um, both lenses are full frame, which is important to note, and that's great, so you're not stuck with you know an APS-C lens or a micro four thirds lens you know you can adapt these lenses on anything uh, just be mindful of the any crop factors which may incur due to your sensor size this has a um, hard click you can hear it it's not clickless so it's not perfect for videographers but you can use it for video because it's a manual lens. And like the other one, it's built like a tank. I think this is from the 70s or 80s. Um, you're gonna get that nice contrasty look. You're gonna get quite a soft image with it, um, which isn't the end of the world for video. If you're a filmmaker and you wanna start building up your lenses, you wanna start messing with different focal lengths, experimenting, finding your style then I would recommend looking at some of these old vintage lenses. There's plenty of them out there. These were only 30 pound per lens. So for 60 quid, you've got 135 mil and a 28 mil at f2.8, which again, it's not the fastest, but it's a nice f-stop. At f2.8, you'd be able to get a decent shallow depth of field, reasonably good in lower light situations. 
of course having the camera with a, with a really good uh, high ISO capabilities will help too, but 2.8 is it's very nice. Full frame lenses easily can adapt to modern cameras, particularly mirrorless cameras like the Panasonic line and the Sony line too. So you could build a really inexpensive uh, vintage stroke kind of cine lens lineup for your filmmaking kit and it wouldn't cost you as much. Yes, the optics are not going to be as good as a modern kind of cine lens kit, even the cheapest ones like the Rokinons or Samyangs um, probably won't be as good as them. But nevertheless, uh, if, if you want a kind of a nice, cool, retro, filmy look, then absolutely check these lenses out. I took them out to Roth Park, slapped them on the A7 III and got some shots. If you're looking to bolster up your lens collection, then check out these vintage lenses on the interweb and grab yourself a bargain. This is the Sonagar, Sonagar, Sonogur, 